This is Frank Leone. Well, I'm a public land user. He attended a hearing for a proposed bill that would have punished people who put up gates blocking access to public lands. Normally, these gates are popping up on private property, but the roads have been used in the past to get to the public lands on the other side. To block access to that, blocks access to, uh, to all that, the area that lies behind it. And Frank doesn't like that. The bill proposed by Representative John Gannon from Boise would have allowed for what he called reasonable consequences. First a warning from law enforcement, then a $200 fine, then the third time is a $1,000 fine. This is part of our Idaho life, our Idaho heritage, our Idaho history is the outdoors. But just like that... Please signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed by nay. Nay. The bill was killed before being introduced. Here was a bill that was an opportunity for them to stick up for access, and it was shot down, unfortunately. Brian Brooks of the Idaho Wildlife Federation said he was surprised it wasn't introduced, saying he was looking forward to defending the bill. We didn't even get to have that debate today. Republicans killed it because they say it infringed on private property rights, and they're working to keep big government out of people's backyards. Brooks disagrees that this bill would have infringed, though. And what this bill said or tried to do is say you may not post public lands or state lands that are accessible for public use. You may not gate roads that do not belong to you. Something that Frank Leone would have liked to see passed. I think it's something they need to look at again and recognize that it does affect uh, Idahoans and their use of their public lands.